everybody. And the tower's on. Welcome. So, so today we want to talk about Chao, Chao Den, and, um, and uh, good to see you here. And today we want to talk about uh, some licks in, uh, in the key of E or over an E chord. Because usually uh, when we are improvising, maybe we know a bunch of licks in the key of G, for the G chord, for the, for the C chord, for the D chord. And then when we, we have an E chord, maybe in the song, we, we just panic and we don't know what to do. So I want to show you a few licks that I like and that I love. And, um, and so, hey Jeff, good to see you. And, and so, by the way, can you hear me good? And uh, just uh, maybe leave a comment and tell me if you, if you can hear me good. And also... Uh, just uh, give a give a like to the video if you if you will uh, perfect yes okay good good so I think we're ready to start so the very first leak comes from the plane of Jerry Reed and is and it sounds very much like a, sounds very much like a banjo uh, leak it sounds like this And if you go faster, right, sounds very much like Foggy Mountain Special, uh, Foggy Mountain Breakdown, sorry. And uh, so I hope you have your guitar because we're wanna, we want to play this together, right? So, okay, so we are here, okay, index, this is the third fret, third string, okay, and we want to we want to play two hammer-ons like just like this and after that we play an open E string so okay so again hammer-on hammer-on and first string open and and then so and then we want to go we want to go like this third string second string first string very simple so hammer on hammer on first string and then third string second string first string hello uh, so so this is the way that the, the, the lick starts then we want to repeat this three times, I think. Okay, now the third time we want to finish the lick a little bit different. So, differently. So, again, from the very, very top. This is once, right? Then we repeat. And the third time we will do so the first half is the same but the last three notes are uh, I have to play it faster okay there you go so the last three notes are uh, open G then hammer on on the third string first fret and then we play an open B and we land on a nice E note here on the fourth string so to recap we have hammer on hammer on first string and then third second first again now we have hammer on, hammer on, 
and then first string and open for third hammer on second string open and fourth string now by the way I we have to talk about the right hand so the right hand is a little bit it's a little bit different we are not alternating the pick we go like down, down, up, down, down, up. All right. So if you know a cross picking, uh, well, the, this is like a cross picking movement. At least the way I do it. And um, so we have again down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, one more time all together, slowly, three, four. Alright, so this is the very first lick, and a little bit faster again, it sounds like this. much like a banjo roll and um, by the way um, I have a, I just finished um, uh, finished a, a series of videos that are an introduction to flat picking guitar so if you are new to flat picking make sure you check uh, you, you check out uh, the, the, the link that I will post right after the lesson in the comments and um, and the name of the course is uh, flat picking guitar 101 so and it's for free just free so just make sure that you you click the link and and you will receive the an email to with the link to download the the course the the three video the no more than three uh, five videos and a backing track and, and some tablature okay so let's go and let's move on to the second lick we are always talking about playing licks in the key of E or playing licks in a, over an E chord. And this one is a little bit easier. The second lick is a little bit easier and uh, sounds like this. Okay, so here we have a three note pattern that we repeat. And the three notes are open G and then G sharp and B. Okay, those three notes. And we wanna repeat those three notes once, twice, three times, and the fourth time, instead of a, knee, of a B note, we play a E note. Okay, so the three note sequence, three times, and the fourth time we end the lick, uh, the lick on a different note. Instead of the B, we end on the E string. This is simple, right? And it's cool. I think it sounds great. You can also go like this a little. Let's let's see a little variation. Okay, this is even simpler. I don't like it as much as the first one, but if you want, you just repeat the same sequence four times. Okay, and if you play your down ups correctly, the last stroke will be an up stroke. right hand okay yeah oh happy you like it Jeff so so maybe we can combine 
the two and the first time we we land on the B and the second time we land on the on the E note. And uh, this is how it sounds with a little backing track here. So why, okay, why don't I don't play the open B string? Because if I play, okay, that's a pinky note, I know, but if I play everything on the same string, the right hand is gonna thank me. The right hand goes like, thank you, thank you, Roberto, because the right hand doesn't move, it stays here. If I go on the B string, And um, also the B string keeps ringing, and, uh, and and I don't like that. I prefer that way. the The B string is short, and uh, and so the phrase is cleaner. Uh, listen. Compared to. So that that's why I, I don't play the open B string. Okay, and there is also another reason for not for playing the B string is that you can move that shape from the first fret, you can move it up to the fourth fret, and you and you play again the index and the pinky, and that's also working. That's also working over an E chord. Actually, I can combine the two positions like this. So you see where I'm going, I'm uh, using three notes at uh, three note patterns and I'm moving it uh, over across the fret fretboard. Actually I can go even higher, so you see, so my index goes where my pinky was. So my pinky is here and now my index goes here. Now my pinky is here and I go with the index again. This time I cannot use the pinky anymore because that's not a good note over the E chord but I can use a ring finger instead. So if I go with the sequence from the beginning it goes like this. And now I keep going and now this is the ring finger, okay that's the ninth fret I go with my index here and I go with the pinky again. And it sounds like this. Slow motion. And after that, I want to finish the lick with a nice E note. Like. Let me play this with the backing track. Maybe I, I slow down the backing track a little bit so we can play together. Let's see, like this. This is super slow. It's simple, it's easy to remember because it's always the same fingering except for there is always an exception, right? So that's the exception. And this is a cool simple idea over the E chord that you can play over the E chord. Or you just stay here. Okay, so I think we have time for one more lick. And uh, this time, this is a lick that works over an E7. Thank you, Dan. I'm happy you enjoyed this.
So, and the lick goes like this. So, and this, this one works very well if, if the E chord is an E7, so it's a dominant chord, and the following chord will be an A chord. So let's say we have something like this going on, okay? So a couple of bars of E, and then that E goes to an A chord. And uh, for example, uh, if you are familiar with the fiddle tune by Vassar Clements, Lonson Fiddle Blues, the B section, you will have you will have these four chords, and then you have E, and then it goes back to to the A part. So this is a lick that you can use. Again, when the E chord is a dominant chord and it goes to, a, to an A chord and it sounds like this. And that's the A chord. Two, three, four. So this is the E. So again, this is a three note pattern. And again, it's pretty simple to, to remember it. You just need to remember three different positions. The first position is index here at the fourth fret and middle finger here. Okay? So this is, that belongs to the, to the nice E chord that we have here, right? We are just playing the second and the first string. And then you move this position here and here I'm using index and ring finger. This is the seventh fret. So just visualize those two positions. Go back and forth. All right. And now we need another position that looks like this position, index and ring finger, but it is here at the tenth fret. So again, we have three positions. The first one here. 4th fret, 2nd one at the 7th fret, and the 3rd position here, fret number 10. Okay, now if you can play those, you see I'm not lifting my index, that index stays down all the time, I'm just changing the finger on the 2nd string. Okay, now if you know that, and you can play this very simple pattern that is it's a three note pattern and it's first string, second string, first string open very simple right? down, up, down now move that that pattern over this position Same three notes, right? First string, second string, open first. And, and now you can play exactly the same pattern over this position. Okay, very simple. So now let's play them all together. I'm also coming back, right? Okay, so again, make sure that you play the down ups correctly. This is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So I keep going like this down, up, down, up, down, up. But since the pattern is a three note pattern, the first one starts with a down stroke. And the second one starts with an upstroke. Up, down, up. So the, the position here in the middle, you have always have an upstroke on that position. And now we need a few more notes to finish the lick. And we need three notes. 
The first one is a G sharp here, at the fourth fret, and then a pinky. This is a B note, and we land on a nice A note here at the fifth fret, middle finger. So last three notes: G sharp, B, A, or index, pinky, middle. So now the whole lick sounds like this. Okay, let's try this with the backing track. One, two, one, two, three, four. And now we need an A chord here. So, by the way, the backing track doesn't go to A, so I cannot use the backing track. Actually, I can use this one. Let me see if I can use this one. Here we go. Oops, I need an E note. If you wonder if you if you wonder what I'm using, I'm using Amazing Slow Downer. It's a fantastic app that you can control the pitch, you can control speed. So again, let me start over. Okay, again. So again, one more time. Yeah, we, we can play a couple of notes here. Something like that, so it's slightly different. Okay. Alright, so this is the, the third lick, and again, this, this lick goes from E7 to A, so it's a dominant lick. Okay, so that's all for today, and I hope you like these three licks in the key of E or, or, or E leaks, so to speak. Again, um, if you are not a subscriber, please um, subscribe to my channel and, um, and hit the bell so you will get notifications every time I post a new video or I go live again. And um, thank you, thank you then. And again, um, grab, uh, I have a new, a new little course. If you are new to flat picking, uh, I have a simple little course that is called uh, Flat Picking Guitar 101. Thank you, Mauro, for the, you know why, for the title. And uh, so it's for free. You just click on the link that I will post right after in the description of the video or in the first comment. And, uh, and you'll be able to download for free this simple introduction to Flat Picking Guitar. You will receive a few videos uh, and, uh, and, and then an audio, a backing track and also some tablature and everything is for free. Okay, so again, thank you for watching and thank you everybody and, uh, and I, will see you, I will see you soon. Bye!